Picture yourself about to buy a home that meets all your criteria. It's within your budget, a great location, and the perfect amount of space for you and your family. And on top of that, it has solar panels mounted on the roof from the previous owner. That's good, right? Well, maybe. There are some questions you need to ask first to determine whether buying a home with solar panels will be a renewable dream come true or a potential financial nightmare. Hi everybody, it's Ben Zentera from Solar Reviews. Today, I'm going to be talking about the process of buying a house with solar panels and everything you need to know before doing so. The first things you'll want to find out when buying a house with solar panels are, are the solar panels owned, financed, or leased? How old is the solar system? And what is the condition of the roof underneath it? Which company was responsible for installing these panels? And what equipment did they use? What warranties or system monitoring is in place that needs to be transferred? And what energy credits or payments does the system earn from the utility company? Without further ado, let's break down each of these things. First off, the most important thing you'll need to consider is if the solar panels are owned, financed, or leased. Let's say the previous owner bought their solar panels upfront in a cash purchase and they're paid off entirely. This is the best case scenario of buying a house with solar panels. There's little to no paperwork to sign, no debt to take on, and you can start immediately saving money on your electric bills. Unfortunately, this won't always be the case. If you're considering buying a house with panels that were financed through a loan that hasn't been paid off yet, it's gonna be a bit more work. Most times, the easiest solution is to require the current owner to pay off the remainder of the loan in the escrow process. This eliminates all the headaches that could come with trying to transfer the loan into your name and allows you to have lower electricity payments from the get-go. That said, the seller may not be willing to work with you and you'll face the choice of whether to buy the home anyway or walk away. If you decide to take over the loan, the proper paperwork will need to be filled out to transfer ownership of the system to your name and you'll need to carry on those monthly solar loan payments. But make sure to look into the history of the loan. If the previous owner has missed payments on the system, your mortgage company won't like that and it'll likely be a big hassle to sort out. If the house you're looking to buy has solar panels under a solar lease or power purchase agreement, you may want to reconsider. There are a few issues you should know about before taking on this type of arrangement. When buying a house with a leased solar system, you are obligated to enter a long-term contract with a company you don't know. This contract is based on the energy usage of a different family with different habits, so it's more than likely to change. You won't have ownership over the system, the company will. That also means no solar incentives for you, and you're responsible to pay monthly until the lease is up, meaning your panels won't ever generate free electricity for you. These lease terms may come with a price escalator, meaning the payments can get more expensive each year no matter what. The best case scenario is that the current homeowner will have a low cost monthly fixed payment and a system that works great with a brand new roof underneath it that won't need to be replaced during the contract term. The worst case scenario is you could end up paying more than the cost of electricity for a solar installation that doesn't work as it's supposed to and you won't be able to get out of the contract. This is another situation where it might be best to have the current owner pay off the lease in the escrow process. The trouble is lease buyouts are sometimes extremely expensive meaning the seller may be even less inclined to put down that money. If it's a third party owned system like a lease or a power purchase agreement, be extremely cautious. The seller chose to enter an expensive contract that's hard to get out of. You don't have to. Let's say you're happy with the solar financing situation. The next items to consider are the age of the system and the condition of the roof for the house you're looking to buy. Solar systems, when properly maintained, can last longer than 25 years. If you wanna minimize issues, make sure the system is in peak working condition and still has a good amount of life left. On top of that, check the condition of the roof. If it's in need of replacement soon, it's going to cost at least a few thousand dollars to remove the panels. Replace the roof and then put them back on. It's not ideal to add those costs to your home buying experience. Last, but certainly not least, research is your best friend. Find out which company installed the system and ask for a contact there who you can reach if something needs to be repaired in the future. You'll also want to know which panels and inverter system were installed and the warranties that come with that equipment. You can look up the company's review ratings online at solarreviews.com. We prefer local installation companies with good reviews that have been in business for five years or more. They tend to be more trustworthy. You might find that the installation company has gone out of business, which unfortunately does happen sometimes. In that case, be extra careful to ensure the system was built using components from major manufacturers because their warranty should still be in effect. If you aren't sure which brands to look out for, we'll link our list of top picks down below, and that should be a good place to start. Whatever the brand, you'll need to get the warranties transferred into your name. At minimum, there should be a product and workmanship warranty on the panels and inverter or microinverters. 
The solar insulation company may also have offered a warranty that covers things like roof leaks and damage to the home. You can also transfer system monitoring access into your name to the inverter manufacturer if it's available. The final thing to think about here is the agreement between the system owner and the utility company, which determines the value of energy credits. What you're hoping for is a net metering agreement, which means that any energy that the system generates that is sent to the grid earns the owner full credit toward the energy they need after the sun goes down. In places without net metering, excess solar energy is credited at a lower rate, meaning it's worth it to figure out how you can use as much of the solar energy in your home as possible. Whatever the situation is, it's nice to know what to expect before you take possession of your new solar home. You may be wondering about other types of solar incentives, like the federal solar tax credit or utility company rebates. As a buyer of a home with solar panels, you will not have access to these types of incentives. They were already claimed when the system was installed originally. But you may qualify for performance-based incentives, like renewable energy credits, that you can get as long as you get them transferred into your name. Our research has found that solar panels can raise the value of a home by 6.8% on average. So if you're putting forth that extra money to buy a house with solar, make sure you're checking off all these boxes. If you're buying a home with solar panels already installed, it should ideally have a system that is fully paid for or whose owner will pay it off in the escrow process, have solar panels in peak working condition for their age and with good warranty coverage, have a roof in good condition, be installed by a reputable company that's trustworthy and still in business, using quality components. If the home you're looking to buy meets these criteria, you found yourself a great deal. We hope this video helps make your buying process a bit more enjoyable, and you can feel more confident in buying the solar home of your dreams. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, like and subscribe for more content like this. We'll see you next time.